Excited to show you a very quick and easy sweater vest dress. We've kind of been seeing these around. I've actually not been very interested in the sweater vest trend, just like as a like vest, but I love the pinafore style where you kind of wear an almost overall type dress and wear a big fluffy blouse under it or a turtleneck or something. So I thought this would be fun. So what you're going to need is a nice loose t-shirt, like this one. If you've seen any of my other knit videos, you've seen this t-shirt. I use it for everything, or at least I reference it, for any loose knit garments. And then you want some nice thick knit fabric, about two yards, one and a half yards. Probably one and a half yards is enough. And then I'm using my trusty serger but you can just use a zigzag stitch or probably because this is a loose garment and there's not really going to be a whole lot of stretching involved you can probably just straight stitch this garment probably be fine i've already created a pattern i have basically taken my t-shirt and altered it to alter the t-shirt i just use the front tee as the foundation because the back and front of my vest dress are going to be identical cuts I moved in the shoulders an inch at the armhole and 1.5 inches at the neck. I lowered the armholes 4 inches and took in the underarms at a half inch while maintaining width at the hips. I've also added a deep V neckline 1.5 inches past my waist. I measured the neck and armholes to create my trim. My trim is double width of 1.5, so 3 inches with a length that matches either the armholes or the neckline. We will be using two separate pieces for either side of the neckline to create an overlapping V construction in the front and back. Finally, I add my seam allowance. I did just over a quarter inch since my serger makes a quarter inch overlock and this fabric is very bulky so I wanted to be able to cut off just a little bit if I needed to to get all of the seam allowance in. You can definitely just copy your t-shirt and quickly trace it out. This is not a super you don't have to be super accurate with this pattern because it's just kind of a loose vest. So I'm just going to quickly paste this together and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Cut it out and we'll start making this vest! Ah, I'm so excited. Check it out! Certified cute. <laughs> That's how easy this pattern is. This one piece is the front and back. I'm just gonna lay out my fabric, double it, place this on, cut it out, pin it first, obviously, and we're done. Ooh, my hands are crusty dusty. Avino, naturally beautiful results. I'm going to now cut the three and a half inch strip. For the neckline trim, there are two pieces that are 3.5 inches wide, that's with the seam allowance in the width, and each piece is half of the full neckline, mine is about two inches or so. By stretching the trim to the neckline, it allows the trim edge to lay flat against your body instead of sticking up. For the armholes, there is one piece per side, 3.5 inches wide and about 2 inches or so shorter. Definitely walk it along the armhole and make sure that it's tight enough to lay flat. It will probably need to be more than 2 inches, but it really depends on your fabric. So you have this whole half yard left. Before we even look at this, I've placed these together and I have some twill tape for the shoulders because this is very stretchy fabric. I want the seams to really hold themselves together. So I'm using a piece of twill tape which is nice and strong and won't stretch and putting it along the seams as I sew. 
I think I'm actually gonna also put it on the side seams as well. So we'll do that too. I don't know the words, but I want to know the words. I'm so happy with the shape of it. Ah! I could even leave it just like this, but I wanted to put the thicker trims on it. So we'll see, like you could even do it like this and I cut the same pattern out in a jersey and then just line it with this and leave the hem open. It's gorgeous, I'm gonna love wearing this. Well! <laughs> you have to cut two strips. One for one side of the neck on the front and back and one for the other side of the neck on the front and back. There's these two pieces and then you're gonna fold this like that, this like that, and just match them together. Then place it at the point and pin. And then we're going to start sewing here. Bring it up and around. So, 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 so. And then you need to find the half point on this piece and put that at the shoulder. I'm going to insert a clip from a previous v-neck that's going to be a lot more clear. Can you even see me in the camera? Uh. To prep for sewing, overlap the neckband ends at 90 degree angles and pin at the v-neck point. At the sewing machine, start your needle a quarter inch from the v-neck point at the very center of the overlapped neckband as shown. Then pivot the band to line up with the side of the v-neck and sew about one and a half inches back stitching at the beginning and end. So there you can see where I started the stitch. Then you want to snip to the v-point close to the stitch and sew the other side in the same way. I just followed that method and here's the little front area and the back area and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. I just sewed with a straight stitch just this area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way around at quarter inch on my serging machine. Because the trim is a bit smaller and I have to stretch it to fit, I don't think I really need the twill tape. That's one side done. Oh, see how it's curling like that? You definitely need twill tape in it. Darn it. I'm gonna do the other side in twill tape and see how that does. You can see here just how bagged out it is. This is my trim and then this is the actual size it's supposed to be according to the pattern. I'm going to sew twill tape onto this piece the same length as the other side and just make sure that I can get this ripply area in. Just pushing it in like so. I was pleased to find that the added twill tape corrected my mistake, thankfully. After adding trim to the neckline, I'm now adding trim to the armhole. I've cut a strip for each about two inches shorter than the armhole 
on the pattern and I have sewn the ends right sides together. Then I mark the halfway point and fold this strip with wrong sides together. And then seam to side seam, right sides together. Center to top seam. And sew with twill tape. Cause we learned our lesson with the neckline. <laughs> It sticks out. So I should have done this technique here as well. It's not my look, okay? It's not my look. Okay, so I've come up with a solution. Sewing it on and then sewing it, tacking it at an angle in here so that it is more flush. So this time to make it more even, I sewed the twill tape on first. So now I'm gonna put my piece in. It's gonna be much easier. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew at the side seam at an angle so that it lays flat. I'm going to do that much. I'm gonna do that much of an angle. And then we'll do the same exact length. Right there. And there we go. Okay, I've done it. I've added the edge on the inside. I'm gonna need to cut this off and then serge it. Looking at the hem, I've just kind of straightened it out and now I want to serge the whole edge and then we're gonna fold it up and I'm gonna hand stitch it up. Then I'm gonna do a nice steam and then it's ready to wear. So I'm just kind of like pushing it in as I go so that it doesn't stretch out as much and I think that that is working. Now I'm going to mark up two inches from the bottom. Hold this up. Pin it in place. Okay, I got some navy thread, quite a perfect match if I do say so myself. And then um, I got my needle, thread it in. I think I'm gonna do a double thread. It's gonna be stronger and it is definitely not gonna show in this very textured fabric. So what I've done here is I've just gone in here on the side seam and put it around like that. I'm gonna take a nice chunk and then go through this and literally just do that the whole way through. I'm done and I am stoked because I'm going to wear this. Do a quick steam and we're Dunzo. On. Subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh.